If I were to ask you how many counters you can see here, it'll probably take you quite a bit of time to work it out. However, if I start grouping those counters into groups of 10 and popping each of the groups of 10 into a container, it'll be easy for you to see that there are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, four counters. And this is exactly the idea of place value. When we write 64, that 6 stands for the fact that we have 6 of the containers. And each of those containers contain 10 of the counters. And so that 6 stands for 6 containers, but it also stands for 60 counters. And then the 4 just stands for four counters. Now we're able to easily work an exchange between the containers and the counters because each container is worth 10 counters. So for example if you've got 64 like this and I ask you to give me six counters what you can do is exchange this container for 10 counters and then you can give me the six counters as follows leaving you with 58 and so this is how our place value system works where any of our numbers are made up of digits and the value that the digit takes on depends on where it is in its place value. So for example, the four just stands for four ones. Here the six, because of where it is, it stands for six tens, and the three, because of where it is, stands for three hundreds. So the place values, if you move from the right going left, each place value is ten times more than the previous one. So you can swap one of those tens for ten ones. You can exchange one of those hundreds for ten tens. So this is an idea that we're going to be working with and it's something that we want learners to be very familiar with. That idea of that that six is not a six. It's six containers and each of those containers contain ten of the counters in other words, it's six tens, it's 60 